Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about aligning yourself with what it is that you want. So if you think about the goals in your life, the things that you want to achieve, and we'll take fitness as an example. Say you want to really get in shape. You've got to take inventory of what is aligned in your life with what it is that you are trying to get or achieve and what is not aligned with what you're trying to get and what you want to achieve. And I think the funny thing is, is it sounds so simple, like, of course I'm in alignment, I'm doing these things, but a lot of the time in my experience when I've coached people and for myself as well, I think we too often get caught up in the tasks and the lists that we make for ourselves saying, I gotta do this, then I gotta do this, then I gotta do this. And what we actually need is to slow down and to chill out and to reflect on what it is that we are doing, what our strategies are, and take inventory again of what's in alignment with what we want and what's in alignment of what we don't want. And this is a tough process because I think in our society, again, through my own experience and then also coaching people, is that it's easy to get caught up in the day to day and fall into a routine of the same old habits and the same things. And then little do you know, what you're doing is you're grooving in these bad habits that are actually out of alignment with what you want. So for example, oh man, of course my, you know, uh, I'm in alignment with, you know, my fitness goals, right? I wanna get in shape, I wanna lose five pounds, I wanna get stronger. And you think things are in alignment and you're going along maybe for a month, maybe two months, and you look back and you go, damn, I've been putting in the work, like I'm not seeing any results, what's going on? And again, this is why we need to take time to slow down and to look at the bigger picture and reflect to make sure that everything that we're doing is helping us get from point A to point B. And we're not doing point A and then stopping over at D and then checking out F and then looking at Z and then coming back and then we finally arrive at B Sure, the irony is sometimes things happen like that and we just need to let them fall into place naturally. But I think, again, what would help is to take the time to reflect. So an exercise that I'll give to you specifically, very simple, just get a piece of paper and make two columns and then write your goal out on the top. And on the left, you're writing out everything that you're doing, everything that you're being that's aligning with you achieving that goal. And then on the other side, you're just writing everything down that isn't in alignment, that doesn't work with what you want. So, you know, maybe for, again, using the example of fitness. Okay, great. You know what's in alignment? Dude, I'm drinking tons of water. I'm like tracking my food. I'm seeing some good results on that end. You know what's out of alignment is that the, you know, workouts that I'm doing, my timing is off. Like, God, I just can't uh, do it after work. I notice that I'm I'm less inclined to work out because I'm tired from a work day So I'll either skip a workout or I'll go out and I'll do the workout half-assed So that's not in alignment the timing of your workout is the thing that's not in alignment So maybe what you need to change is I don't know. Can you move it to your lunch hour? Sure, you already get up early You got to get up earlier and try to just knock it out in the morning and then that'll create a routine So whatever is in alignment or isn't in alignment, right? I think the importance is a lot of the times, again, when we're moving towards these things, we think that more is going to do more. We're taking massive action. But really what we need to do is relax and allow things to get into sync with each other. And then all of a sudden it's a much easier flow. So an example I'll use for myself, because I think it's a lot easier to understand these concepts and reflect on how it pertains to us when we see it outside of ourselves. So my personal example is you know, growing my business, growing my channel, what's in alignment? Well, what's not in alignment is like staying up late, binging on, you know, social media for me, or if I'm, you know, I might think I am in alignment and I'm creating content, but what I'm really doing is just getting caught up in all the minutia of crap. And what I need to do is sit down and instead of looking at social media for X amount of minutes or hours, getting inspiration or whatever it is, you just sit down, I need to make the video. So what wasn't in alignment was you know, spending too much time browsing or whatever, and what is in alignment is actually doing the task. And unless I've taken inventory of myself and going, damn, I'm spending way too much time consuming and not enough time creating, and I didn't take that time to reflect, that moment of clarity may not have come forward for me. But the fact that I took time and I wrote things down, all of a sudden, now I have a new path, a new awareness, and that awareness is allowing me to create the momentum towards the goal that I want. And I think the hardest part of this again 
is it's easy to get caught up in the routines. The days, the hours, the minutes, they go by so fast. You blink and it's like, oh my God, it's already the end of the month. Oh my God, we're already halfway through the year. And the next thing you know, that thing that you wanted to start or the thing that you've been trying to move forward on hasn't moved, it hasn't progressed. And then all of a sudden, a couple of things happen. You either get really frustrated or you give up altogether and go, oh, we'll shoot whatever, it wasn't gonna happen anyways. When the reality is maybe all you needed was a slight tweak. Maybe all you needed was to just steer the boat four degrees, five degrees left, and then all of a sudden you're on course, right? If you think about it, and that's a beautiful analogy, imagine you're like sailing across the ocean in like an old school like galley or even like whatever, a sailboat, but my my thought was like a pirate ship or something like that. But anyways, you get my point. You're sailing in this boat, and if you are even you know a couple degrees off course, well shoot, if you're going a thousand miles and that's a long journey, the end of the journey being your goal, Dude, that five degrees, and for hour, however long you go, you're gonna be way the hell off course. So unless you take the time to measure and you know, like look at, I mean, now it's a little different, but you know, again, think of it back in the day when you didn't have these things and you're using like an astrolabe and a sextant and all these like old school tool, tools, right, for uh, nautical navigation. Um, unless you take the time to recalibrate and look at your course and look at what's in direction in alignment and what's not you will not know and then at the end or you're getting closer you're at least moving forward no matter what you look and you go oh my god we're like a freaking 80 miles off off track off course you're gonna have to course correct so the value is taking the time now to look at these things will allow you to have a much easier flow and ensure that you're heading in the right direction and that way as you move forward, when you get closer to your goal or down the line, you're not like, oh my God, we're way off course and you have to make these big course corrections. But the importance, again, is the reflection, the time to slow down. And this is what gets us in alignment with what we want. So if you feel that you know, you're know you uh, really frustrated right now or you're in a place where you're stuck or you're plateauing with a goal, fitness, money, business, uh, relationships, whatever, slow down, take a deep breath. Literally, take a deep breath. Again, I'll do this with you, man. Take a good quality breath. You know, it's funny, I think, getting off topic for a minute, but it is super related. Is When I take these breaths, I'm taking them for myself, but it's a reminder for you. And I've noticed that when I'm coaching people and I'm listening to them, I'll ask them a question. Sometimes they'll just talk for 20 minutes and I won't say a word. And I'll just interrupt them and be like, hey, relax and take a deep breath. And what I've noticed is that they can't even take a deep breath. They go, <sighs> and that's their deep breath. I'm like, damn, not, that's not relaxing. Like I'm stressed out watching you. And what I've realized is a lot of people just have trouble with the breathing. And I think this goes in with our conversation about relaxing, like letting the flow come, like breathe, let things happen naturally. <sighs> Slow down, create some space. We create space in our lives, in our bodies, by breathing, by letting go of things. And that is in alignment with our conversation, pun intended, is because when you breathe and you're creating space, that space allows for clarity. And when we have clarity, it allows us to see things in a different perspective. When we th see things in a different perspective, it allows us to get more in alignment with what we're trying to achieve. So take a deep breath, again. Exhale, relax, shake it out a little bit, just relax and allow yourself to focus. Allow yourself to come to a place of peace in this moment and that will give you clarity. That will allow you to create alignment that will support you in achieving your goals in a much more fluid, much more natural way. One of the things that I think you know the world is experiencing right now is this shift and you know, I've been binging on Dr. Joe Dispenza and he talks a lot about this. We're no longer matter trying to change matter, meaning I wanna get this job, so God, I've gotta work my ass off, I've gotta get an internship, I've gotta, you know, imagine getting a job out of college, right? I gotta apply for a thousand places and then follow up with all them. And what he talks about is no, it's not about that at all because that's the old school way of doing things. More is not better, more is just more. He's like, what if you allow yourself to get energetically in alignment with yourself and what you want and allow the opportunities to come to us. And the way that we do that is by creating ease 
by creating flow in our life and when we're just pounding the pavement all day and we're super stressed out doing the same things over and over that's not creating ease that's creating dis-ease or disease right and then these are when all these mental physical conditions can manifest so kind of jumped around on a few different things that i'll touch on in other videos but the the main message for today is to slow down breathe and create some space relax and allow yourself an opportunity to reflect to get clear on what it is you want and when you get clear and create space and time for you to look at things in this way it will allow you to create alignment with what you want and the value of creating alignment is instead of killing yourself stressing yourself out to achieve what you want you're allowing yourself to be in a flow for things to happen naturally and you'll achieve your goal much quicker and much easier with less stress less headaches so i hope this was valuable to you and if it was um would appreciate if you like it subscribe uh trying to get this out as to you know i'm trying to grow my channel and help as many people as possible and the way we do that is by your feedback your input it helps me get this out into the youtube algorithm so you're helping me you're also helping other people uh, especially if you found this message valuable i greatly appreciate it and appreciate you um, and if you don't that's all good too no worries but nonetheless thank you for watching thank you for listening and you have a wonderful day and create that alignment in your life so that we're all in this nice ease and flow for what we're trying to achieve and we'll talk to you next time